Now in Good Morning Northwest, a car goes off a cliff and down a 200-foot embankment. What happened to the driver and what investigators say caused that crash? We're going to see some sunshine, then we're going to see some snow, and then we're going to have snow coming in for this weekend when it's going to be the heaviest and when we should see a break. It's all coming up. More than a quarter of Americans say it's the biggest problem facing our country. Immigration, a look at what happened when President Biden and former President Trump both visited the southern border. You're watching Good Morning Northwest on 4 News Now. Thanks so much for starting your day with us. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nance. It is Friday, March 1st. Welcome to your new month. Let's check in with Mark and our first alert forecast. So we had some light snow overnight, uh, leaving behind, again, a little white drifting onto uh, some of the roadways and parking lots of the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena. Uh, uh, 34 degrees currently winds to 18 miles an hour now the winds will be less than yesterday but we're still going to see gusts to 20 miles an hour potentially here's four things you need to know snow showers moving in later on we could see areas of brief heavy snow showers uh, but we're expecting that about three o'clock breezy south winds light snow for saturday and we're going to see a chance of snow all the way through the weekend we look at the live satellite and radar okay this is all moving out of our area this is what brought us that light snow but we're going to see this reload later on today and and we'll see that about 3 o'clock. That, that's the timing on all of our computer models. Temperatures right now, mild downtown into the mid-30s. 35 now at 9 mile, 34 officially at Spokane International. That is our temperature. Uh, we look at what we can expect for the forecast today. We're going to see temperatures climb up. We're going to be nearing 40 degrees. 41 will be our high today. Again, with that chance of snow showers coming in this afternoon, 3, 4, 5 o'clock. From the Breaking Now desk, this morning, new details on the migrant crisis at the southern border. It comes as we're learning more about President Joe Biden and former President Donald Trump's high-profile visits to Texas yesterday. Now, immigration is a key issue in the presidential race. In a new Gallup poll, 28% of Americans say immigration is the most important issue the country is facing. President Biden and former President Trump with dueling visits at the U.S.-Mexico border, both saying how they'll fix the border crisis. Biden urging Republican lawmakers to pass the border security bill. It would give more funding to border patrol officers and immigration judges. It's currently stalled in Congress. House Republicans are blocking the bill under Trump's direction. The former president promising mass deportation and more border wall. During yesterday's visit, Trump at one point waving to migrants on the other side of the Rio Grande. They like Trump. Could you believe that? The former president also claiming that terrorists are crossing into the country. And with that border bill spill stalled, the president is considering taking executive action to tackle the crisis. That could include tougher asylum laws. An announcement could come at next week's State of the Union. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. The U.S. Senate approved a short-term stopgap spending bill last night to avert a partial government shutdown. The bill passed the Senate in a bipartisan 77 to 13 vote and will go to President Biden's desk to sign into law. It sets deadlines to fund one part of the government by March 8th and the other by March 22nd. In a statement, Biden said this is a short-term fix, not a long-term solution. A bill that would ban law enforcement officers in Washington from hog tying suspects is closer to becoming law, with the majority of the House approving the bill. One state representative calling it dehumanizing and dangerous because of its risk of suffocation. In March of 2020, three Tacoma police officers cuffed Manny Ellis's hands and feet together. In body cam video, Ellis could be heard saying he couldn't breathe. He later died. The medical examiner ruled his death a homicide caused by lack of oxygen. In January, those three officers were found not guilty of murder. The bill had previously passed the Senate, but it needs to go back for verification before heading to the governor's desk. Prosecutors in eastern Washington will seek the death penalty for a man accused of killing his wife, her unborn child, and their 10-month-old son. According to investigators, 48-year-old Jeremy Best shot and killed his wife in November. She was pregnant, and they say he took off with their 10-month-old son the next day. And, no, 10-month-old son. Now, the next day, hunters found Best naked by the side of the road. His son's body was found in that same area. Jeremy Best faces three first-degree murder charges. A former Pasco police officer will be sentenced Monday for the murder of a Spokane woman in 1986. A judge found Richard Aguirre guilty of first-degree murder in the killing of Ruby Dawes in December. But Aguirre's new lawyer says there is insufficient evidence to support Aguirre was the only suspect who pursued Dawes and that the crime was premeditated. The defense wants Aguirre's conviction to be reduced from first- to second-degree murder. 
The judge delayed a Geary sentencing, originally scheduled for January 29th, until Monday in order to consider the motion. In Grant County, three people died when their pickup truck crashed into a garbage truck. Investigators say it happened yesterday outside of Mattawa near Road 25 Southwest and Road R Southwest. A, fo a fourth person in the Ford F-150 is seriously injured. The driver of the garbage truck had minor injuries. No word yet on what caused that crash. Take a look at this dash cam footage showing a car driving off a cliff in Oregon. The car then falling down a 200 foot embankment. Investigators say the driver took their eyes off the road. The person survived and was able to get out of the car after it crashed. According to police, the driver was roped up the hill to safety by emergency officials and taken to the hospital for treatment. Well, there are now two FEMA disaster recovery centers open up in Medical Lake and in Elk to help wildfire victims. FEMA officials say they can even potentially help families who have been denied assistance. And many wildfire survivors are still struggling six months after the fires tore through those two communities. Now, some families in Elk live in their RVs because they can't afford anything else. Federal, state, and local organizations are at disaster recovery centers trying to provide financial assistance, even if a person is insured. Now, all wildfire fire survivors need is to provide documentation of insurance and ownership. I mean, we can do 42,500 um, for our damage uh, to the housing um, type of assistance. Um, and then on we call the other needs assistance side of our program, we can do an additional 42,500 for some of those personal property items, um, you know, furniture, stoves, freezers, um, things that may be out in your garage, tools, things like that. A coordinating officer at Lance Davis, who you just heard from, says if a wildfire survivor has insurance or has been denied ins assistance previously, they may need to provide some additional documentation so FEMA can see where exactly they can step in and help. For more information, you can find this story on our website, kxly.com. Glad they're in there helping mm -hmm. those people get some help. Yep. Your Good Morning Northwest Time, 607. Mark is here helping us look ahead to the weekend and some winter weather alerts. Yeah, we've got watches and warnings when it comes to winter storm watch and of course avalanche. It's all going to expire this morning, but we still have the heavy snows and the higher elevations. If anyone's planning on snowmobiling this weekend, yeah. they need to check before they go into those back areas. All right, we want everyone to be safe. Mm -hmm. We take a live look outside. You see the cloud cover. You see a dry sky and a full forecast coming your way. Valley firefighters go into freezing waters. Why they say this training is so important. To wrap up Money Makeover Week, I'm sharing easy finance tips you can teach your kids now to set them up for success later. An Israeli forces kill more than 100 people, wounding hundreds more in Gaza. Right after the break, the conflicting reports about the attack. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. Expect even more from KXLY Plus. Live updates from the 4 News Now team. Breaking news as it happens. Weather every 10 minutes. Free on your time. Download the app, connect to your streaming TV, and connect on KXLY Plus. <laughs> Sorry about that car accident. Got that insurance claim check for you. I gotta call Swap. <laughs> I gotta call Swap. Here you go. Ah, that's it? I'm calling him. You forgot your check. Craig Swap & Associates is on your side. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call, that's all. 509-999-9999. Feeling Claritin Clear is like... Is she? Playing with the confidence of a pro and getting all up in that grass as if she doesn't have allergies. Yeah. Nice. Sorry, body, for knowing about Actives, but giving 100% of them to my face. But fear no more, body. Get Active serums with hyaluronic acid that quench, vitamin C that brightens, and proceramides that even everywhere. New Dove Serum Body Washes. Get Dove or get FOMO. Shake up your shower with a flavor for every feeling. This Dove freshens you up. This Dove winds you down. This Dove leaves you glowing. And this Dove keeps you going. So whatever care you care about, there's a Dove for everybody. In 10 years, Lisa Schneider will have an amazing second act. Thanks to career reskilling courses from AARP to help make sure her income lives as long as she does. The younger you are, the more you need AARP. 
We waited four years to roll out savings this big. It's the Leap Year Sale at Denver Mattress, and that means everything is on sale. Shop today and find deep discounts on our best mattresses, like the Queen Size Buena Vista Firm, now only $479.99. Score a $300 gift when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic, or check out the Summit Queen, easy on the wallet for only $332.49. Plus, score no interest financing until 2029. But hurry, the Leap Year Sale at Denver Mattress ends Thursday. You could win tickets to the best of Broadway musical, My Fair Lady. Compliments of 4 News Now. Watch Good Morning Northwest for the word of the day all next week, then enter to win at KXLY.com. A pair of tickets will be given away each day. Enter for your chance to win. It is 6-11. Here's a look at what's new on Good Morning Northwest. Relatives and supporters of Alexei Navalny are bidding farewell to the opposition leader at a funeral today in southeastern Moscow. His supporters say several churches in Moscow refused to hold the service before Navalny's team got permission from one in the capital's Marino district, where he once lived before his 2020 poisoning. Russian authorities still haven't announced the cause of death for Navalny, who's crusaded against official corruption and organized big protests as Putin's fiercest political foe. Many Western leaders blamed the death on the Russian leader, which the Kremlin angrily rejected. Israeli troops killed more than 100 Palestinians waiting for food in western Gaza City yesterday. In this drone video released by the Israeli military, people desperate for food swarmed the trucks. That's when the military opened fire. A local journalist saying about 20 people were killed or wounded. Then many more run over and killed by the trucks as they escaped gunfire. The Palestinian Ministry of Health says at least 104 people were killed altogether, more than 700 injured. 12 minutes past 6 o'clock, it's Friday morning, beginning of March. Cool and breezy, you'll need a jacket today. We'll see some light snow uh, later on. Snow showers could be uh, intense in places. 40 will be our high today. You good, sir? Spokane Valley firefighters braved the cold of Newman Lake to brush up on their ice rescue skills. Now, people here in the Inland Northwest don't fall into frozen waters too often, but that infrequency is exactly why Spokane Valley firefighters say it's critical to practice these types of rescues. Firefighters took turns being rescued and pulling each other out of the water. We are in specially built immersion suits, uh, and even then it gets cold. So it's a person wearing normal everyday clothing, you're going to be hypothermic in a matter of minutes. Now, if you ever witness someone stuck in some icy water, call 911 immediately. And if you ever feel unsafe about going out on those frozen lakes, it's safer just to stay on the shore. Good yeah. words of advice mm -hmm. for sure. Your Good Morning Northwest Time, 613. Well, what did you learn about money when you were a kid? Most of us didn't learn much about spending and saving. We can do a better job with our own kids. And in this morning's Money Makeover, Alsa Martinez has help in establishing some good financial habits for your kids. And big sports happening is this weekend between State v. Basketball at the arena and at the podium with the STCU West Coast Indoor Track and Field Championships. We're sending you off to break here. We'll have more on this coming right after the break. That was funny. Yeah. That's a sick bike. Boys. Miss Sanderson? See you Monday. When Fred's advertises it, we've got it. Fred's warehouses are loaded with inventory. When your fridge stops working, you need a new one and you need it now. Fred's has them in stock. The box stores never have this much inventory on hand. You can wait weeks for delivery. At Fred's, get your new appliance the next day. Fred's always has the guaranteed lowest price and shows you competitors' prices on our price tags. Fred's Appliance. We sell appliances, only appliances. How does free college or training sound? It's possible. Washington College Grant gives eligible people money for certificate programs, job training, apprenticeships, or college. Learn more at wagrant.org. That's wagrant.org. We're building a better postal service. All parts working in sync to move your business forward. For more value, more reliability, and more on-time deliveries. The United States Postal Service. Built for how you business. All right, kids, come on. It's time for bed. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Snuggles. Make breakfast special with the cocoa and hazelnutty goodness of Nutella. 
Gold Seal Plumbing is the only local company to offer the Light Ray Pipelining System, which allows us to repair your pipes without digging any holes and can be done in less than a day. Our factory certified technicians use a high speed chain cleaner that grinds away obstruction. Then our no dig system pushes the liner down the pipe and within minutes, the liner is hardened, making a seamless and durable pipe that will last decades. To see the full video, go to goldsealplumbing.com slash trenchless and call Gold Seal Plumbing today. We're on our way. At first, I used Better Than Bouillon for broth, and then stir fries, sauces, even marinades. And with all the varieties, organic, reduced sodium, and now the culinary collection, it's like the deliciousness never ends. Make everything better with Better Than Bouillon. Adventure awaits at Silver Mountain Resort this winter. Enjoy some of the best terrain in the region, only 30 minutes east of Coeur d'Alene, right off I-90. Family, friends, and smiles as big as the wide open vistas. Relax in a beautiful condo just a stroll away from dining, water slides, indoor surfing, and 84 degrees. And a gondola ride away from our new covered carpet lift, tubing, and acres of snow rider heaven. Your winter adventure awaits at Silver Mountain. Book today at silvermt.com. Hey, Lainey, when is the baby coming? <laughs> very, very soon. Dad, what about yours? You're going to... Yeah, okay, well... Hi. Ford News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. Good morning and welcome back. Your time is now 617 on the nose. Good money habits start at a young age. Lemonade stands and saving up allowances are ways for kids to practice for adult finances. And you can take it a step further with your local bank. Kids can build up their savings and earn prizes in the process. And 4 News Now's Allison Martinez live in studio this morning to share finance tips you can teach your little ones in today's Money Makeover Report. Every family has different financial circumstances. The important thing to understand is that good money habits start early. This means teaching your kids the basics, saving, spending, and sharing. The three S's can help any person from any age group achieve their financial goals. As you get older, of course, the words take on more importance. But when it really comes down to it, you know, you're, you're spending your money on the things that you need. You're going to save your money for the things that you want uh, and then find opportunities to be kind to others, buying presents or, or do something to help people along the way. Breaking down financial goals into these three categories helps kids to make connections between money and priorities. STCU allows kids to get rewards for putting money into their savings through their kids club. It's a punch card that typically shows how many deposits you've gotten to uh, be able to earn those prizes. Uh, you can just see their faces light up as they get closer to that prize. And then we have this giant bucket that you can go and choose whatever prize you want, whatever toy you want out of that. And no matter how old you are, the hard work that goes into building up your savings is rewarding in more ways than one. Eric encourages parents to talk about money with their kids, especially their own finances. He says having this transparency can help kids get perspective on how important this topic really is. For more tips and tricks to set your kids up for financial success, you can visit our website, kxly.com. Reporting in studio, Allison Martinez. Four News Now. Great tips at any age. All right, thanks, Allison. Here is a live look this morning at the Spokane Veterans Memorial Arena where the action has been hot inside for State Woo. B basketball. Boys and girls. Yeah, and starting off this morning, we're mild, not the amount of wind we had yesterday, but still gusty winds. I got some great news. We're going to do the ski report. Okay. And things have been going great. Uh, so we take a look at what we're going to be seeing now. And I tell you, this is the weekend you've been waiting for. 10 inches of fresh snow at Schweitzer over the last day and a half. They've got 73 at the base, a foot of snow at Lookout Pass, uh, 10 inches at, at Mount Spokane. These are all new amounts, again, over the last 30 hours, and 8 at 49 degrees north with more snow coming in this weekend. So you'll need the goggles, but I think you're going to have a good time. So we look at what they can expect as we get into Saturday morning. Uh, 49, another 3.5 inches. Schweitzer near 8, a uh, little over 2 at Silver, and we're going to pick up uh, another.
another, well, good amount by Sunday uh, into about 10 inches of snow at Lookout Pass. We'll see that at Schweitzer. Mount Spokane picking up another maybe four to six inches of snow. All of that great news, plus the snowpack that we need and adding to it because we're still below. 41 today, we're going to see snow showers later on this afternoon. Some of those could be brief and heavy, and then they're going to push out. 29 for the overnight low. We're going to see again some snow showers in the region. Huge low huge low uh, sitting off the coast. This is what we've been tracking now for a couple of weeks. It continues to make its way down now really coming into California. The Sierras are going to pick up feet of snow. We're going to see that translate to snow into parts of southern Idaho, Utah, into parts of Wyoming. <clears throat> And it's only going to continue to move south. Colorado's going to get a good dose. For us, we're getting the remnants, the leftovers. It's going to be coming in. We're going to see these bands of showers coming across Saturday morning. One to three inches of snow possible Saturday. It looks to be more numerous. Sunday, we get a bit of a break. And then we see a return of more uh, engagement on Monday with maybe some heavier snowfalls. 41, our high today, 39 into Coeur d'Alene. Heading down into Lewiston, you're going to be 51 degrees. For us, snow showers again Friday into Saturday. Saturday. Saturday looks to be the best day to see one to three inches. Skiffs on Sunday, more showers on Monday, Tuesday. Wednesday, Thursday, well, could see a bit of a mix, rain, snow mix, depending. Uh, but overnight lows into the low 20s for the beginning of the week. Wow, okay. Good weekend to get out there and go skiing if oh, you want. Yeah. My goodness, it looks great. Yeah. Yeah, it's now 621. You may need to start referring to the Washington State Cougars as the cardiac Cougs after their performances this season. Up next, the highlights from another win against USC as the Cougs inch closer to the NCAA tournament. Livestream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. I would have called yesterday, but... I could have called yesterday, but I should have called yesterday, but would have, could have, should have. We hear that a lot. Hi, I'm Jonathan, an insurance professional and manager here at Colonial Penn Life Insurance Company. Sometimes people put off calling about life insurance. Before you know it, another year has passed. And when they do call, they say, I wish I'd called sooner. Don't regret what you didn't do yesterday. Call now and feel great about saying yes today. Call right now for free information on the 995 plan. Are you between age 50 and 85? You can get whole life insurance with options starting at just $9.95 a month. Do I have to answer health questions to get it? There are no health questions. You cannot be turned down for any health reason, past or present. How long does this policy last? Our 995 plan is permanent protection. Can my rate increase later? Never. Once you're insured, your rate is locked in for life. You can get whole life insurance with options starting at just $9.95 a month. A quick phone call is your first easy step. I'm glad I called today. I feel good knowing my options. I'm relieved I called today. I got all my questions answered. I'm thankful I called today. It was faster and easier than I imagined. Have you thought about life insurance but put it off? Don't regret what you didn't do yesterday. Call now and feel great about saying yes today. Call now and you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. Call 1-800-648-0629 now for your free information and your free gift. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-648-0629. That's 1-800-648-0629. Call now. It's Coeur d'Alene Casino's Core Stars Entertainment Series. Hold on, new star. 38 specials, timeless blast of Southern Rock hits. Live Thursday, April 18th. Damn straight. Don't miss Scotty McCreary, one of country music's biggest stars, live Thursday, May 2nd. It's No Holds Barred Entertainment at King of the Cage, featuring upcoming MMA stars on Thursday, June 13th. Visit cdacasino.com to buy your tickets now and check out the full Core Stars lineup. Winning is just the beginning. Well, it certainly did not look good for the 19th ranked Cougars in the first half. Down by 12, they were plagued by turnovers and getting bullied in the paint by the Trojans. But great teams just seemed to find ways to win games. Once again, this game came down to the final minute of regulation. And once again, the hero was Jalen Wells. The former D2 All-American has been absolutely sensational in the month of February. That three gives the Cougs a four-point lead with seconds left to play. One last chance for the Trojans to tie this game up and send it into overtime. Two decent shots don't go. And the Cougs survive an absolute thriller, 75 to 72.
got the people out. I mean, our players have done a good job of putting a nice team together and having that kind of crowd this type of year in February going into March uh, probably pulled us through, to be honest. Meanwhile, the 23rd ranked Gonzaga Bulldogs were able to take care of business. They earned just their second quad one win of the season, going down to San Francisco and beating the Dons 86 to 66. With the win, the Zags improved to 23 and 6 on the season and earned that all important triple bye to the semifinals of the WCC tournament. Up next for them is going to be a huge test once again to close out the season with a visit to 17th ranked St. Mary's. Now, with less than two weeks to go in the regular season, it appears both the Gonzaga teams are going to be in the tournament. Also, the Cougar men, they seem like they're a lock at this point. And maybe even both the Eastern Washington men and women's squad, they're going to be the number one seeds in their respective conference tournament. Certainly is going to be a thrilling finish to the season. Reporting in studio, I'm Alex Crescenti for News Now Sports. Yeah, it's really fun to have this many teams locally that we can keep our eye on Absolutely. for all the tournaments. Good stuff. It's now 626. Still to come, a take in a classic movie in a classic Spokane theater. The Garland Theater is back open. How you can check out the movie Nostalgia for yourself. And more than one million acres scored a scorched in Texas. Sydney Charles is breaking down what new information we know this morning about the fires in the Panhandle and how close crews are to stopping them. And as we take a break, here's your first look at what's coming up on GMA at 7. In this morning's GMA First Look, airplane window wars. At least 16 million people watching as the woman shooting the video opens her shade and a child in front of her closes it. The woman captioning the video, it's my window. That passenger speaking with GMA overnight. I do always keep my window open. He was just being quite a nuisance in that sense that I couldn't really fully relax. But this morning, the question, who has the right to determine whether the shade goes up or down? I choose the window seat so that I have the privilege of being able to look out the window and control the window shade being up. So for that reason, that's why I decided, no, I want to keep this window open because it's the only access to a window that I personally have whereas he has access to another window. And coming up at 7 a.m., we'll hear from the Flight Attendants Union for their take on this airplane etiquette debate. With your GMA First Look, I'm Gio Benitez, ABC News, New York. You didn't live this strong, this long, to get put on the shelf like a porcelain doll. If you have postmenopausal osteoporosis and are at high risk for fracture, you can build new bone with Avenity. Ask your doctor if you can do more than just slowing down bone loss with Avenity. Want stronger bones? Then build new bone. Ivenity can help in just 12 months. Ivenity is proven to reduce spine fracture risk by 73%. Ivenity can increase risk of heart attack, stroke, or death from a cardiovascular problem. Do not take Ivenity if you have low blood calcium or are allergic to it. Serious allergic reactions and low blood calcium have occurred. Tell your doctor about jawbone problems as they have been reported with Ivenity or about pain in your hip, groin, or thigh as unusual thigh bone fractures have occurred. Don't let a break put you on a shelf. Talk to your doctor about building new bone with Ivenity. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. In 2020, we did something so drastic, we had to wait four years to try it again. It's the leap year sale at Furniture Row and everything is on sale. Shop today and find amazing deals on sofas and sectionals, deep discounts on dining sets, tables and chairs, incredible bargains on king, queen and kids bedroom sets, and supercharge your sleep life with a new mattress. Plus score no interest financing until 2029. Shop the largest selection at the lowest prices guaranteed. But hurry, the leap year sale at Furniture Row ends Thursday. Watch me. Watch me skate out to conquer the ice. A band of sisters on blades for the stars and stripes. Sitting down for the battle doesn't limit my game. Fueled by the hope of Olympic flames. Stick work and speed to put shots on goal. Born from medical breakthroughs helping me stay in control. Watch me. World-renowned care for pediatric prosthetics at Shriners Children's. The most amazing care anywhere.
Makeup meets skincare expertise. True Magic Serum Concealer by L'Oreal Paris with hyaluronic acid. Corrects like a concealer, hydrates like an eye serum. An iron-shaped applicator to conceal and replump with a radiant finish. True Match Concealer. We're worth it. You could win tickets to the best of Broadway musical, My Fair Lady. Compliments of 4 News Now. Watch Good Morning Northwest for the word of the day all next week, then enter to win at KXLY.com. A pair of tickets will be given away each day. Enter for your chance to win. From 4 News Now, this is Good Morning Northwest. We start this half hour with 4 News Now Story Tracker. And around 98% of the U.S. population has some kind of immunity to COVID-19, whether from infection, vaccination, or both. That is according to the CDC. But health experts say this only gives some protection against infection or severe disease. In response, the CDC this week recommended people aged 65 and older get an additional dose of the current COVID-19 vaccine. The Garland Theater is set to open for the first time this year under its new ownership. The new and improved Garland will offer some nostalgia and offer a unique movie going experience. Now tonight, a screening of the beloved Spokane film Benny and June. Those tickets are sold out. The Garland will be open Friday, Saturday and Sunday. The rest of the week, it'll be available to rent. Sounds like a really fun time. Mm -hmm. Good morning, Northwest. Time is 631. Thanks for joining us. I'm Natalie Grant. And I'm Robin Nancy. It is Friday, March 1st. Yeah, in like a lion, out like a lamb. Are we getting the lion part of that, Mark? I think so. Yeah, it's certainly into the mountains we are. And our first alert weather and that first alert weather app is still free, still available in the app store. Cloudy conditions. Uh, we've had increased clouds this morning, sitting at 34 degrees. Wind still breezy to 18 miles an hour, but not the gusts that we had yesterday. Um, snow showers later on today and the four things you need to know. Breezy south wind, so you want to make sure you've got layers on light snow for tomorrow. We could see one to three inches in our area and minor valley accumulations out of that on Saturday. So we look at our forecast radar today. We could even see some sunshine and then this afternoon we see this come in rain snow more than likely it'll be light snow, but it could be a blend a mix and then we're going to see that potential for Saturday morning. That's where we see that one to three inches, higher elevations getting more, of course. Um, 36 currently into the valley. We have 34 for our official temperature right now. 32 into Deer Park, so temperatures moving around a little bit. Here's our day today. We're going to be hovering into the low 30s, warming up to, well, 41 will be our high today. And we're going to see again that chance of snow coming in about 3 p.m. And at the Breaking Now desk this morning, the fight to get raging wildfires under control in the Texas Panhandle continues. Now this comes as we're getting a closer look at the damage left behind by the smokehouse fire. You can see it right here in the center of your screen. Now that fire has burned more than 1 million acres in Texas, making it the largest fire on record in the state. The number of people killed by the fire continues to grow. The Smokehouse Creek Fire claiming the life of 44-year-old Cindy Owen. Family members say the truck driver was working when flames swept through the area. Owen was unable to escape. She's the second known wildfire victim. 83-year-old Joyce Blankenship also died during the fire earlier this week, according to her family. The Smokehouse Creek Fire is the largest of four different wildfires tearing across the region, spilling into Oklahoma. Officials say rough terrain is making it difficult for firefighters to stop the flames. Strong winds and brittle veg vegetation are expected to continue feeding the fires. And just yesterday, President Biden committing federal funds to help people impacted. So we're standing with everyone, everyone affected by these wildfires. We're going to continue to help you respond and recover. Local groups are working to get much needed supplies to people who have lost their homes. And Texas Governor Greg Abbott is heading to the panhandle later on today and will hold a press conference to address this ongoing crisis. Reporting in studio, Sydney Charles, 4 News Now. Sydney, thanks. Relocating Spokane City Hall operations out of town town is no longer an option. The city says it's working to correct a $50 million budget deficit, and it is trying to save money by using the empty space inside City Hall as much as possible. The city is currently using only 60% of the building. The goal is to move certain city services out of the county building and relocate them to City Hall. Moving the police dispatch center and municipal court are options under consideration. We could also be relocating a lot of the municipal court here. Uh, in fact, perhaps the courtrooms themselves. Uh, we could take probably one or two floors and build out a couple courtrooms. Council member Michael Cathcart says the city will hold monthly budget meetings, hoping to have a solid plan by October. 
Gonzaga and Whitworth universities are extending the deadline for incoming students to accept their admissions offers because of the delays with the new FAFSA form. The Department of Education recently announced that colleges and universities will not receive students' financial aid information until mid-March, delaying when students and their families can begin receiving financial aid offers. Now, future Zags and Pirates will now have until June 1st to accept their admissions offers. Both schools have resources families can ac access to answer any of those questions. You can find links to those on our website. It's at kxly.com. A big event happening this weekend at the podium. Yeah, that's right. Middle and high school kids from miles around are, con are converging to Spokane for the STCU West Coast Indoor Track and Field Championships. And we're joined this morning by Sari Gwen. She is the Senior Director of Sports for, Sp or sports for Spokane Sports. Sari, good morning. Thanks for joining us. Good morning. Thanks for having me on the air. Yeah, absolutely. And so can you just tell us maybe how many competitors are going to be here for this weekend's events? Yeah, we are expecting over 800 competitors this weekend, and this is kind of the last hurrah for these folks, these junior high and middle school athletes to be able to finish their season, and uh, it's their kind of last culmination before they hit nationals. And to host this, it's the second year. Correct. This is the second year that we're hosting it by STCU. Like, how big of a deal is this? I mean, we know it's a big deal for the athletes, but what about for Spokane itself? This is a huge opportunity for Spokane to showcase kind of the last indoor season of track and field. And it's really the last chance, the last opportunity for these kids to compete here locally before they uh, go on to nationals over on the East Coast. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Very exciting for, I'm sure, a lot of athletes here. And so if someone wants to come out and check out the event, if they want to be there in person, how can they get tickets? How can they come watch? Yeah, they can purchase tickets online through Tickets West, or they can purchase them at the box office at the podium here itself. All right, and going all weekend long, I assume? Yes, it is Saturday and Sunday, and we'll start to see those athletes arriving today as they have a practice opportunity to get here and warm up and feel the track, feel how fast it is, feel the momentum of just being in a stadium where, you know, a lot of opportunities like this, they don't exist on the West Coast, so this is truly the one showcase that they get to run on a premier track and a championship venue. Wow. Very exciting. Sure is. All right, Sheree Gwynn, thank you very much for joining us this morning. Again, Sheree, with, uh, she is the Senior Sports Director for sports for Spokane Sports. Well, your good morning Northwest time right now is 637. All right, Mark is back and we're talking about wet weather. We have had some. Yeah, so we talk about wet weather and normally it, uh, last week it, there was some rain in the background. Now it's all snow as we see that potential. Saturday, yes. Sunday, not so much. Monday, Tuesday, pretty good chance of seeing it. So this system that's off the Pacific, it's going to hang out for a while. It loves us. We're going to have a full mm. check of the forecast. And with this snow, it's good to have an indoor track and, of course, the indoor arena for State B basketball as well. A new bill cracking down on hate crimes is waiting for Governor Inslee's signature, how it will increase accountability for people committing these crimes. And a former college football star loses his battle to colon cancer at just 33. How his death is highlighting the increasing deadly trend in younger adults as we kick off a month of awareness. Connect with 4 News Now on KXLY+. Plus. Your dream home starts at Floor & Home with Mohawk Waterproof Flooring Made for Life. You dream, we install, this is your forever floor. This month, get up to 50% off at your local Liberty Lake or Spokane Floor & Home. Take advantage of the tax credits you can, including the annual Washington State Working Families Tax Credit. You can get money back on state taxes already paid. Visit workingfamiliescredit.wa.gov. There's some things that work better together. together. Like your workplace benefits and retirement savings. Moria helps you choose the right amounts without over or under investing. So you can feel confident in your financial choices. Voya, well planned, well invested, well protected. We have a garage door that doesn't lift. So I went on Angie. It took me just a handful of minutes. So vendors who were knowledgeable, they did higher quality work. They wanted us to be happy with the work done as well. It is a beautiful garage, I yes. have to say. Get started today at Angie.com. <laughs> Got that insurance claim check for you. I got a call swap. We'll make sure you get the help you deserve, and we only get paid after you win. One call. 
That's all. 509-999-9999. It's Coeur d'Alene Casino's Core Stars Entertainment Series. Thirty-eight specials, timeless blast of Southern Rock hits. Live Thursday, April 18th. Damn straight. Don't miss Scotty McCreary, one of country music's biggest stars. Live Thursday, May 2nd. It's No Holds Barred Entertainment at King of the Cage, featuring upcoming MMA stars on Thursday, June 13th. Visit CDACasino.com to buy your tickets now and check out the full Core Stars lineup. Winning is just the beginning. Feeling Claritin Clear is like... Is she? Playing with her confidence of a pro and getting all up in that grass as if she doesn't have allergies. Yeah. Nice. In 10 years, Lisa Schneider will have an amazing second act. Thanks to career reskilling courses from AARP to help make sure her income lives as long as she does. The younger you are, the more you need AARP. Your dream home starts at Floor and Home with Mohawk waterproof flooring made for life. You dream, we install. This is your forever floor. This month, get up to 50% off at your local Liberty Lake or Spokane Floor and Home. Welcome back in taking a look around the Northwest. A bill to close a loophole in Washington's hate crime laws is now waiting for Governor Jay Inslee's signature. Now, last fall, Spokane's LGBTQ plus community was the target of vandalism, some of which was on city owned crosswalks. Now, currently, this can't be prosecuted as a hate crime since Washington law says hate crimes only apply to private property. But this bill would change that. Now, one of the sponsors of the bill, Senator Andy Billig, saying by closing this loophole in the state's hate crime statute, we make our community more welcoming and increase accountability for those committing hate crime. In our 10 second takeaway on this Friday, cool and breezy start, no doubt about it. Make sure you got a jacket on some layers. We're going to get some light <laughs> snow later on this afternoon. Timing on that uh, between 3 and 5 p.m. Our high today is 41. And in news for your health, on this first day of March, doctors and patients are marking Colon Cancer Awareness Month. The death of a former college football star this week is a stark reminder of the toll the disease is taking on younger and younger Americans. Craig Rowe, a former star linebacker for the University of Michigan, losing his battle with colon cancer. He was just 33. His death is part of a troubling trend. Colon cancer is now the deadliest cancer for men younger than 50 and the second deadliest cancer for women younger than 50. Doctors say obesity and lifestyle can play a role. What we're concerned about clearly are food or environmental exposures that may be there, but it's hard to know. What we do know is this, that for people under the age of 50 diagnosed with colon cancer, about a third of them have some remarkable family history that might have given us a clue as to that having occurred. The doctors say it is so important to get screened beginning at age 45, but Americans are not getting that message. 80% of people ages 45 to 50 are not getting screened. Doctors say colorectal cancer can develop silently, so early detection is key. If caught early, the survival rate is more than 90%. 45. Mm -hmm. Talk to your doctor, get tested. For sure. It is now 643. This morning, Allison Martinez is talking all about preparations for your child's future in today's Money Makeover. I'm breaking down easy financial lessons you can teach your kids young coming up on Good Morning Northwest. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. The Leap Year Sale at Furniture Row is on now, and everything is on sale. Find amazing deals on sofas and sectionals, dining sets, tables, and chairs, clean, clean, and kids' bedroom sets. Plus, score no interest financing until 2029. But hurry, the Leap Year Sale at Furniture Row ends Thursday. I would have called yesterday, but... I could have called yesterday, but... I should have called yesterday, but... Would have, could have... Should have. We hear that a lot. Hi, I'm Jonathan, an insurance professional and manager here at Colonial Penn Life Insurance Company. Sometimes people put off calling about life insurance. Before you know it, another year has passed. And when they do call, they say, I wish I'd called sooner. Don't regret what you didn't do yesterday. Call now and feel great about saying yes today. Call right now for free information on the 995 plan. Are you between age 50 and 85? You can get whole life insurance with options starting at just $9.95 a month. Do I have to answer health questions to get it? There are no health questions. You cannot be turned down for any health reason, past or present. 
How long does this policy last? Our 995 plan is permanent protection. Can my rate increase later? Never. Once you're insured, your rate is locked in for life. You can get whole life insurance with options starting at just $9.95 a month. A quick phone call is your first easy step. I'm glad I called today. I feel good knowing my options. I'm relieved I called today. I got all my questions answered. I'm thankful I called today. It was faster and easier than I imagined. Have you thought about life insurance but put it off? Don't regret what you didn't do yesterday. Call now and feel great about saying yes today. Call now and you'll also get this free beneficiary planner. Call 1-800-648-0629 now for your free information and your free gift. There's no risk or obligation. That number again is 1-800-648-0629. That's 1-800-648-0629. Call now. It's the Leap Year sale at Denver Mattress, and that means everything is on sale. Find deep discounts on our best mattresses, like the queen-sized Buena Vista Firm, now only $479.99, plus no interest until 2029. But hurry, the Leap Year sale at Denver Mattress ends Thursday. Ford News Now is brought to you by End the Violence. Welcome back. It is now 646. The teenage years are a great time to instill some good financial habits. The kids experience their first jobs or get ready to leave the nest. Having the financial tools to be successful is so important. 4 News Now's Allison Martinez joining us to share financial tips you can share with your teens. Every family has different financial circumstances. The important thing to understand is that good money habits start early. This means teaching your kids the basics, saving, spending, and sharing. For teenagers, the real challenge comes from avoiding the constant noise around the next cool shoe or electronic. The average person sees around 5,000 ads a day. It's easy to get sucked into the cycle of consumerism, but STCU encourages teens in particular to be intentional about their purchases. From, you know, going out and doing stuff with your friends or buying the new shiny thing, uh, you're going to lose out on those opportunities to do bigger and better things with your money. And we, we call those opportunity costs. So if I'm buying a $5 coffee every day, that $5 is going towards this one thing and it loses the opportunity to be used for a bigger and better purpose. Big picture goals like buying a house, starting a family, and traveling may seem far off for teenagers, but these are the types of goals that take long-term planning. To prepare for the future, teens may also consider applying for a credit card. Understanding this tool is very important, and paying it off at the end of the month is the best way to use that. So getting them started, understanding that cadence is really important, and Honestly, if you start with those principles, you're going to, they're going to have a leg up on their peers. Eric encourages parents to talk about money with their kids, especially their own finances. He says having this transparency can help kids get perspective on how important this topic really is. For more tips and tricks to set your kids up for financial success, you can visit our website, kxly.com. Reporting in studio, Allison Martinez for News Now. Some good tips all week mm -hmm. in our Money Makeover series. Yeah, it's been great. Mm -hmm. Here's a live look this morning. We've been talking about State B there. Lots of basketball action all weekend long. Championships wrapping up on Sunday. Yes, you can see a little bit of snow in the parking lot there mm -hmm. from overnight here. We had a bit of a skiff. Roads are in pretty good shape. Mm -hmm. Some of the areas to the north could have heavier snow. Yeah. But we're going to look at El Nino right now. We've talked about drier and or, uh, warmer and wetter conditions. And some of the El Nino years we've had in 15-16, we had 34.2 inches in 14-15, uh, 17. So far this year, we've had 28.2. We should be around 40 right now, and our season should be about 45. So we're still below average. But we are going to see some more snow come into the higher elevations, just not here in the lower elevations. El Nino is going to uh, survive this with correct numbers uh, on average. 41 will be our high today. Snow showers coming in this afternoon. Overnight, we'll have a chance of snow showers 29 for the overnight low expecting Saturday to be one of the snowier days again just showing you this massive low that's feeding these systems that we've had not only for several days but are continue to see it because that low is slowly making its way down the coast so California Oregon and then all the way into Colorado they're going to be winners when it comes to snow you know Lake Mead Lake Powell all needing the snowpack to fill and recharge it'll be in a city it'll help this year it won't do it but it will help. 
Um, we have that snow due at about 3 o'clock. Could be rain snow mix depending on, again, the timing and elevation. Overnight, we're going to see some light snow coming in that Saturday. That looks to be the snowiest day. Sunday, we get a break. So 41 today, 39 for Coeur d'Alene, 52 into the Tri-Cities. I'll be there about noon o'clock. Um, we're going to see temperatures into the upper 30 Saturday, Sunday. In fact, most of next week, Saturday is your best chance of light snow accumulating here. We're going to take a break. Your morning sprint is next. Live stream KXLY Plus on the 4 News Now app. 4 News Now is brought to you by Gold Seal Plumbing. That was money. Yeah. That's a sick bike. Boys. Miss Sanderson? See you Monday. No way. Winter weather means hazardous driving conditions. If you must travel, follow these guidelines to keep everyone safe. Slow down and keep a safe following distance. Use traction tires. Give snow and emergency vehicles the right of way. Carry an emergency kit. Brought to you by Lakes, Worley, Post Falls, and Eastside Highway Districts. At first, I used Better Than Bullion for broth, and then stir fries, sauces, even marinades. And now, there's the culinary collection. Italian herb for pasta, smoky chipotle for fajitas. It's like the deliciousness never ends. Make everything better with Better Than Bullion. Want free college or career training? It's possible. Dietary supplements from Volterran for healthy joints. Willie Nelson and family. On the road again. Bob Dylan. Sad as they slow. Sad as they slow John Mellencamp. I was born in a small town. And more. Friday, August 9th, one Spokane Stadium for the 2024 Outlaw Music Festival. Tickets on sale Friday at 10 a.m. at ticketswest.com. Go to outlawmusicfestival.com for more details. Just roll me up and smoke me when I Produced by Live Nation. You could win tickets to the best of Broadway musical, My Fair Lady. Compliments of 4 News Now. Watch Good Morning Northwest for the word of the day all next week, then enter to win at KXLY.com. A pair of tickets will be given away each day. Enter for your chance to win. Right now, there's just so much happening in our world. And so much happening. Right here in the Northwest. Making sense of it all, that's not always so easy. And that's where we come in. Good Morning Northwest and Good Morning America. We're right here, and we got you. We got you, Northwest. Hey, lady, when is the baby coming? <laughs> Very, very soon. What about yours? You're gonna... Yeah, okay, well... Hi. See breaking news in your area or have a story idea? Contact 4 News Now. This Good Morning Northwest Morning Spread is brought to you by Bill's Heating and Air Conditioning. The time is now 6.53. Time to get you ready to take on your Friday in the morning sprint. Allison Martinez has important finance tips you can share with your kids. Sydney Charles has details on a high-stakes visit to the U.S.-Mexico border. But first, let's get to Mark's forecast to help you take on your weekend. All right, good morning, everybody. All right, so the bottom line in our first alert weather is that we're starting off uh, cool, and so we want you to wear light layers. We have wind, so maybe heavier layers, and then maybe a snow layer for 3 p.m. That's when we're expecting to see some light snow or rain snow mix come through our region, and we want you to be prepared for it. We could see a sunbreak or two, and then snow and rain snow mixed, and then that pushes out one to three inches for Saturday. We're not expecting to see a lot today, so just be aware that Saturday could be that day where you're going to have slow going. Our high today is going to be 41, but we're going to be in the upper 30s for most of the day. Prosecutors in eastern Washington will seek the death penalty for a man accused of killing his wife, her unborn child, and their 10-month-old son. According to investigators, 48-year-old Jeremy Best shot and killed his wife in November. She was pregnant, and they say he took off with their 10-month-old son, and the next day, hunters found Best naked on the side of the road. His son's body was found in the same area. Jeremy Best faces three first-degree murder charges. A former Pasco police officer will be sentenced Monday for the murder of a Spokane woman in 19. 
1986. A judge found Richard Aguirre guilty of first-degree murder in the killing of Ruby Doss in December. But Aguirre's new lawyer says there is insufficient evidence to support that Aguirre was the only suspect who pursued Doss and that the crime was premeditated. The defense wants Aguirre's conviction to be reduced from first to second-degree murder. The judge delayed Aguirre's sentencing, originally scheduled for January 26th until Monday, to, in order to consider that motion. Spokane County Sheriff's deputies arrested a former juvenile correction facility employee on charges of child rape and custodial sexual misconduct. An anonymous email tipped off officials at Martin Hall Juvenile Corrections Facility in Medical Lake that policy was being violated during the transport of a 15-year-old girl. After an internal investigation, the facility fired 40-year-old Antoine D. Jones for violating policy. The facility then reported the information to the Sheriff's Office, which began its own investigation. The Sheriff's Office arrested Jones at the Public Safety Building. A Spokane man will spend the next 11 years in prison for the murder of a man at Franklin Park last summer. 43-year-old Jose Matthews pleaded guilty for shooting 26-year-old Darnell Pluff July 14th. Pluff was shot in the head and neck, was pronounced dead at the scene. Police arrested Matthews two weeks later. This morning, new details on the migrant crisis at the southern border. It comes as we're learning more about President Biden and Donald Trump's visits to Texas yesterday, with both saying how they'll fix the border crisis. Biden is urging Republican lawmakers to pass the border security bill. It would give more funding to border patrol officers and immigration judges. It's currently stalled in Congress. House Republicans are blocking the bill under Trump's direction. The former president promising mass deportations and more border wall. Coverage on the visits will continue coming up next on Good Morning America. Ban law enforcement officers in Washington from hog tying suspects is closer to becoming law with the majority of the House approving the bill. One state representative calling it dehumanizing and dangerous because of its risk of suffocation. The bill had previously passed the Senate, but it needs to go back for verification before heading to the governor's desk. There are now two FEMA disaster recovery centers open in Elk and Medical Lake to help wildfire survivors. FEMA officials say they can even potentially help families who've been denied assistance. Many wildfire survivors are still struggling six months after the fires tore through two communities. Federal, state, and local organizations are at disaster recovery centers trying to provide financial assistance, even if a person is insured. Now, all wildfire survivors need to provide is documentation of insurance and ownership. To wrap up Money Makeover Week, I'm sharing financial lessons to help you set your kid up for success. Good financial habits start at a young age. You can share tips with your kids like the three S's, saving, spending, and sharing. Through STCU's Fill Her Up program, your child can also earn rewards for making deposits into a savings account. For more information on this program and others, you can head to our website, kxly.com. Gonzaga and Whitworth Universities are extending the deadline for incoming students to accept their admissions offers, offers because of delays with the new FAFSA form. The Department of Education recently announced that colleges and universities will not receive students' financial aid information until mid-March. Future Zags and Pirates now have until June 1st to accept their admissions offers. Uh, back with a final check of weather with Mark right after this. At 4 News Now, we believe you should expect more from local news. Our team is committed to a community conversation and bringing you information you need when and where you need it. Numerica believes in and supports that mission. Roundups like an accidental savings account. I get paid every time I buy something. It's like a bonus for me. Frizz, dryness, breakage. New Dove 10 in 1 Serum Hair Mask with Peptide Complex fortifies hair bonds at a molecular level. Helps reverse 10 signs of damage in one minute. Keep living, we'll keep repairing. What if you could go from this to this with just one step? Tresemme Silk Serum. Time for the ultimate humidity test. Weightlessly smooth hair. Your turn. New Tresemme Keratin Smooth Collection. We're building a better postal service. All parts working in sync to move your business forward. For more value, more reliability, and more on-time deliveries. The United States Postal Service. Built for how you business. We hope you're having a great start to your day. There's a beautiful look at, again, Spokane River.
That's lovely. And it's cool outside, no doubt about it. We're sitting at uh, 33 degrees. We're going to see the opportunity for some afternoon snow showers coming in about 3, 4 o'clock. And then we should have just clouds and fairly dry. 41 will be our high today. Tomorrow, 38 for the high with 1 to 3 inches of snow expected into the valley, lower elevations, downtown maybe an inch or less, but certainly around some of the surrounding areas we'll have more. Sunday looks to be a little bit of a day off and then a return of more snow on Monday. Thanks so much for starting your Friday morning with us. Yeah, we've loved having you along. We'll see you throughout Good Morning America with live local updates.